Hey, my name is Fatske, and I'm one of the organizers of ESA, and uh, probably the only one who's currently still awake, um, since we're all based in Europe. Um, it's been now one whole year since the last live event that we had, and I don't think um, I still need to mention that it's been a difficult one at that. Um, when the event started at the beginning of the week, my phone was like, hey, look at what you did um, at the same day, uh, 365 days ago, one year ago, um, and showed me all the pictures of like the last live event that we had. And um, I've been going through them a lot this week, I'm just kind of reminiscing, but um, yeah, um, let's get to the good news. Um, we, thanks to your support, we have raised over $47,000 uh, for the Swedish Alzheimer's Foundation, which is incredible. Um, all A large portion of that money is going to go um, directly to research grants and help scientists directly in the lab who are working on medication um, and other things to help against Alzheimer's disease and other um, dementia type diseases. Um, it would be, there's one last goal, it would be pretty insane to hit that during the last bonus run that's coming up. If we hit 50,000 it would be absolutely insane, but even right now the event is already um, a great success. Um, I hope everybody had a great time as well, which is really important. Um, I want to of course give um, a bunch of shout outs to um, all the teams, all the volunteers who helped um, behind the scenes and now I need to be careful to not forget any teams. Um, I'm gonna do these in no particular order, I'm gonna start with the tech team um, who have done an incredible job at implementing our tech solutions, um, keeping the schedule on track. Um, even with the small amount of setup times that uh, that we've given them. Um, the fundraising team, who, in my opinion at least, has been um, the best fundraising team ever um, that we've had for this event. Um, very good job. Uh, all the donation readers, all the screeners, all the seniors and the team leaders. You've done an amazing job this event. Um, the social media team who have created tweets for every single game, um, who looked for GIFs, who have uh, come up with thousands, not thousands, hundreds of puns, maybe, in all those tweets, um, managed to schedule those, so, or actually, shout out to Oromit, who wrote a tool that like put those tweets out automatically um, whenever we switched to a game. Um, and not only that, they also managed to put out a bunch of other posts during the event, promoting incentives, um, posting highlights from previous days. Um, that team has also outdone itself again and again. Um, chat mods, who have been keeping the chat in check, um, as always, well done. I Myself, personally, I'm not... I'm more like, uh, I, I like to focus on the stream more, so I don't know what's going on in the chat too much, but I know that you're doing your job really well, so thank you for that. Um, last but not least, the scheduling team, um, who have been putting in many, many hours prior to the event, um, going through all the games that have been submitted to the event. Um, yeah, going through those. Um, selecting the best ones, putting them into a schedule, um, revising that over and over again until um, it reached its final form. Um, of course, um, big shout outs, big thank you to all the runners. Um, all the runners who ran at the event were really, really reliable across the board. Um, yeah, there was like real, there was only rarely, um, there was nothing actually that I would criticize there is like it's baffles me every single time when there's like a hundred and I think it was 130 140 something runners um, like that all showed up on time 
two of their runs and we're pretty much prepared it was, it's really incredible to see it all come together all the time um even those runners i want to thank that didn't make it into the final schedule the fact that so many runs get submitted allows us to um, put together such a stacked schedule um i'm really proud um at what all of you runners and volunteers have achieved in the last seven days so give yourselves a big um pat on the back for that um of course thank you to everybody who donated everybody who watched the stream even if just for a little bit all of you um helped make this event um such a big success um i want to give of course a, a huge shout out to our sponsors for the event um koei tecmo europe with neo 2 the complete edition um which um, got released on PC just prior to the event. Um, Fusonic Elite, who have been with us for many, many years and also for this event now. Of course, Twitch. And of course, our charity partner, um, Alzheimer Fondon, the Swedish Alzheimer's Foundation, um, who provided um, a lot of material for us to promote the event. Um, and promote their charity efforts throughout it with all the videos and um, yeah, everything you've seen um, in intermissions probably. Um, one last shout out goes out to uh, the Quality Hotel View Hotel in Malmö, who continue to be awesome even though we weren't there. Um, we're gonna come back, I swear, I promise. And I hope all of you watching are gonna be there as well either in front of your screens or actually in Sweden, who knows. Um, a couple of small announcements. Feedback form, yes, um, will be coming next week. Um, once everybody's rested, we're gonna get that out to you. Um, just follow our social media channels and, and or our Discord announcement channel. Um, the next round table, which will be kind of going over PSA Winter 2021 um, will be coming on March 1st. Roundtables are pretty much, um, it's a very casual format where um, us organizers um, talk in public about things. In this case, it's going to be about ESA Winter 21, this event, how it went, um, and kind of maybe going over a little bit of feedback already. We'll see. Um, so that's coming March 1st. Um, exact time and channel, Twitch channel, is going to be determined. Um, again, keep an eye out on our social media channels. Um, some news on ESA Summer 2021, which might not be surprising. Um, currently, we're working under the assumption that it's not going to be a live event, at least um, not in the scale that you might be used to from our past summer events um, we're very determined that we're not going to put on an event that's not safe for everybody to attend and it's just to uh, the situation with um, regarding vaccinations in countries across the world is currently just still too unclear we're monitoring the situation of course we'll keep you updated on that but currently the assumption is that it's not going to be um, a full live event um yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to say um thank you all once again for um watching and now the only thing left for me to do is roll out the red carpet once again one final time for samurai man and bowser's fury so many of you donated for this um thank you so, so thank you so much um please enjoy and we'll see you next time